as a carry player that could definitely be the potential as a as a young rising star and i do think he likes the mjolnir rush so we will see we will see how that shapes up but meanwhile how are some of the other lanes going we've spoken a little bit about the moetsa in particular quite impressed with how butterfly effect is going in regards to cs wise for oh never mind my bad top lane ponyo easy chase down is probably did you deny yourself i think you try no resources no tangos left not a lot of mana as well it surely Aaron just man fights this guy what is he worried about <laughs> I was like, what's going on are you running away from him uh, I, th I think he wanted to try and give some of the experience to a and it just getting the AOE experience would be nice and uh, Ponyo was trying to, to burn as much regen from um, Aaron as possible so I mean that was interesting to watch support players have very small times for them to fight and i think this is a good time for them to allow 1v1 try and show off some skills i guess i thought you were going to say small brains that's <laughs> I, I have to like, I, I have to cast for the support player all i all i hear my oh my god dudes fucking support this support that <laughs> what just happened all right hard just blew up lon fur and now ranfu as well is getting chased down to be able to catch up to him in another round of the odds is all right that's a big kill because not only did you get both of them but you are also probably going to miss it a lot i think now you'd be looking at team disillusion like or they bottom lane four man fight secret from hara makes it a little bit awkward is he wise wasn't able to right click inside the jewel now aaron's going to be able to tip him should result in them getting a turnaround on Sahara's Pugna. It was a little bit awkward between the two. Meanwhile, mid lane now, though, as well. Small KK. Cole's going to be out. First one of the game for Butterfly Effect. Ponyo probably will go down to the Wolves, but of course, that is a sacrifice that is well and truly worthwhile. Up lane yeah. now as well. You are doomed and you oh. are dead. Is it? What? Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, that is taking far too long. And I think maybe now, okay, they've got no more stuns. I was going to say, maybe Hara can turn back around on it. He's been playing a lot of melee mids. He played Sand King, Darkseer, he plays a lot of Earthshaker. So yeah, that's something for these teams to think of for the remainder of the tour going into tiebreakers. But uh Oh, not again, Moeta. This time has the pierce the veil to prove to be enough of a deterrent. Might get the kill off the back of it. So close to going down. Hara needs another blast and he'll get in range to do so. Now Butterfly Effect is going to show up for the remnants of this engagement as well and result in another kill. So IGV. Yo, who cares about top lane? Just look away <laughs> for the Doom. Look at mid and bottom. I should say so he's able to hit that level 6. He should be able to pretty shortly. But we are seeing it's a you know, very big thing that Radiant supports. They have a lot of levels to work with this game. Yeah, they do. Um, and their supports love having a lot of levels. So Yukio is found out Eren. Nice little replicate there. Easy okay. kill. Meanwhile, bottom as well. There's another freebie for small KK. So a bit of a ring around the rosy. Even Ranfu wants to try and yoink the kill. Thank you, sir. Yeah, this is actually starting to become a bit of an issue for the, the supports of IGV, right? Like the... Oh, oh TZY. Butterfly effect for a bit of a pep in his step at the haze rune. Oil will still be. What is that life drain range? Are you serious? Small KK. Oh, he'll just stay alive and look at the turnaround. Lot of fair pumping in some damage. It's got to respect the blade bell, but it is not enough to turn it back into IGV's favor as they even get horror as well on the outskirts. Man, what a static storm from the disruptor. I get into there because. Even if you're set up first, it's very hard for you to try and um, get a good engage and then still deal with the uh, the Lycan that's kind of floating around. Like, Lon Fur is almost at the point where he's extremely scary, so maybe this is what they need. Speaking of the Lycan, there's going to be the Blink reveal as well from TZY. Winner, winner, all right, but it might be still disastrous as TD jump in with the reinforcements and they will not hesitate. We're blowing up some of the members. Does look like Legion made it out, though. So TZY okay. gets it. We don't want to have, like... Do you remember... I can't remember what patch it was. It was ages ago when they gave um, status resist to strength heroes. It, was, uh, it kind yeah, of feels like that. Dumb. It's like, oh, you're going to go? Stat. 
Off the left side, that's a really good angle from Aaron. Static Storm sets up for the Doom as well. It's a heavy commitment onto the puck, but it means that Lon Fur can just go to work. This Moetta is really starting to be a pretty mighty. Yeah, they're like four levels above uh, Ponyo, and um, unfortunately for Mr. Ponyo, you're playing an Undying where you're behind and you can't really get people to stay inside of your, your tombstone. Oh, okay. Might be a big fight, though. But he just charged away from the team. The reinforcements oh, were set up in the tree line. But as soon as he left from their face, I mean, you broke the formation, and now this is a fight that... It's going to be solely up to Ukyo if there's any possibility for them to be able to come back. The Morphling needs to go crazy. And they're just toying with him, making sure there is never a free opportunity for him to right-click off inside the fight. And it means that Team Disillusion will once again have zero casual. Violated TZY. So that's just a, a hard fight to try and win. And you, you, you could see that there was a lot of uh, time pressure from the fact that their Aegis was going to be reclaimed soon. For them to try and get a fight going, but I think they're just too far behind right now, man. How are you gonna kill any of these calls? Uh I don't know. Oh my god, look at Ukyo! Gotta be careful, my son. The crits are raining in along with the damage. His second death of the game is gonna be an ever so costly one. Because I'll get the full sound of barracks mid. And where Har is waiting. I think they just got a glimpse of the Pugna. No vision on the high gun though. Does make this jump a little bit more awkward. All right, oh. let's walk in. And they get a freebie. For Hara, gonna do against a good old Disruptor. Oh, they're just, they're just gonna go for the All right, what's the response? What can you do, TZY? He'll try and smoke to set himself up on a potential jump on the back line. Aaron's gonna drop the Static Storm. It's a little bit late though, but it might cover the push. Meanwhile, there we go. There we go. That's the duel they've been waiting oh. for. Is it enough? They get the kill. That is huge for them to defend, but you still got small KK in the call. Just go for the jugular. They've killed off Ukyo. There's no morphling they have to be worried about. It's gonna be TZY and Butterfly Effect against the world, but small KK, along with the Doom, they can turn beat on the throne. Uh oh, a DC before a GG, all the throne blows up. You hate okay, to is. see it. Yeah, I mean, they know the game's over. Um, unfortunately for, for Hara, just wanted to, to get out of that. It's From okay. TD, they just whip out whatever they've got. Like, they just picked heroes, I think. <laughs> just all random draft and put some heroes <laughs> together and... Potentially give over first blood as well as TZY levels up the skewer to help secure the kill. Well, KK wants to walk up. They might get a return kill on TZY, but choose otherwise a little bit hesitant about still going to all the members of IG Vitality. So first blood. Oh, yeah. Uh, 75 damage. <clears throat> I, I, I thought the impact was 75 on blood grenade, but thank God it is not. This item yep. is still incredibly dumb. Nah, my blood grenade enjoy it. One fur in trouble. Look at a rebuttal, but one fur does still go down though nonetheless, so they're able to strike back down bottom for IG Vitality. So chilling. Oh, oh my god. No. He... Oh my god. <laughs> I watched it prime time. I watched it prime time. Uh, you know, I was just going to say as well, like he's going to be cautious. He might get power shot. Meanwhile, inside the river, Ranfu <laughs> will also get the kill onto Ponyo. So crazy how my Bat Rider 5 is doing 61 damage for absolutely no reason. And was I, which I think is kind of viable. That, I mean, I guess... Echo plus Harpoon really gives you a lot of catch potential in the Tinker, which is probably the big reason why he's thinking about it as well. There's been more Ponyo. They've been dived on the tower. This is a little bit too deep, though. They do have small KK nearby, but if they're not quick with the kill, if reinforcements show up as they will now, it's a little bit too late to cancel the TP out from the Tinker, but TZY will find a rebuttal as Eren is chased down to the bottom of the stairs, so it will be a two for one. Yeah, not 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 a bad response. There, we haven't seen the value of her just yet. My friend, my friend, there was. I'm just a big hater. Apparently, there was a long stage of Dota where Magic Lena was a, a scary threat. Very true. We, 
But do you feel like this is uh we we will never go back to that era? I I don't think I'm too uh, opposed to the magic Lena, but I just feel like in her current state that magic damage only dealing heroes are not that strong unless you're like a shadow blade. So yeah, that is a, a, a pretty big concern for me because it's going to be unfettered damage from um, from Butterfly Effect for a long time. And it's not like he's playing into tanks either. Like, he, he's playing into some relatively squishy heroes. So this could be the game that, that, that may convert what me back over. The... That's that so That is greedy. a crazy blink in the river. Yeah. And now Ukyo as well is going to look to try and get involved finally, even without the Lincolns completed. We'll run to the back line and Hara says thank you brother what a what an incredible carry you are just securing kills for me very much appreciate that's mechanism now completed so yeah. to enable it to do what it needs to do so you can kind of build whatever and butterfly effect you could be in trouble my son he's in a lot of danger still has the boys to potentially turn the fight around small kk is getting a free fight out of the Tinker, though. Meanwhile, TZY finds a pretty good angle for the RP. That's on the two. Look at the chain force bounce back and forth. <laughs> and now they've left the techies as a grand prize on the high ground. And they will be able to claim it once this fight ends. And a little bit too late. I think he's having a good showing so far. He's going to be working on the harpoon next. And we'll see if this smoke this time connects with the night time. Oh, oh he's going to miss man. him. Oh, the Cobalt. Ooh. Oh, oh! They'll get Lonfer instead. I, I mean, that's that's still mighty yeah. valuable of a kill for them, and even little sprinkle on top of the Batrider's corpse as well. I thought maybe they were going to have some big brain play with the Cobalt. Being so oppressive, and it feels like there's not really much that you can do. If this is an trouble. opening, out he is. RP will be used defensively. It's given enough time for the boys to rotate small KK. You've got no vision of the tier one tower. You have no idea that Ukyo is ready to protect his Magnus, who might not even go down. You need a lucky bash, and he won't even get a butterfly effect. The last man there to be able to protect TZY. Three kills with ease, and Mag was all a bait. Yep. Very tanky offlane hero, very hard to get taken down. There was even a defense matrix thrown on him at one point as well there from Yukio. So it is not a good spot to be in. TZY does get assassinated by Aeonid, who was waiting in the trees for that one. Lara's going to disconnect again So as, as, as he blinked in. So Aaron's able to get the turnaround there onto TZY, who was trying to find somebody. Um, and that's what I was saying, right? Like, if, if there's, like, one or two picks that go the way of IGV, because they've taken all the Tier 2 towers, like, they can kind of just start knocking on the Tier 3s. Well, I mean, hey, that's a pick, so... They can just try and start knocking on these Tier 3 towers, and maybe they, they chip one down in the next couple of minutes, because it's going to be a while till Roche comes back up, but... Um, they've still got a minute left on the Aegis. Run, my friend, run for Dao. Oh, there's the sun. There's another kill. Let's see if they want to try and consider about going up the high ground now with these pickoffs that they've been able to find. Do you see Eren across the map doing... I don't know. <laughs> being an issue? Being a nuisance? What the... That is... <laughs> that is he's being so annoying. That's so troll. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, that is. That is truly troll. Oh. Uh, speaking <laughs> of... Oh, my Lord. Speaking of troll, it's a pretty good shackle. How is he able to pop the Lincolns? Ukyo now. They'll just turn to the Wind Ranger instead. Tries to protect him more than ever he can with the defensive matrix, but it will not matter. I mean, Tink is getting a free fight off, so the damage is slowly starting to stack up. But they are just so far ahead that it does not matter. Yeah, it's just, you know, yeah, you're getting hit. Shackle. And I'm out of there. So you got the troll ward back alive. Let's see if they're going to be able to mount the defense. 23,000 deficit, though. This is not an easy hold at all. TZY, he's going to find an opening as well. Battle Trance gets popped. At least it's something. They're going to be able to kite up with the Yule Scepter. Nice it's a shackle. good shackles on the two, but an even better Chain Frost as well. That is now providing all the damage they need oh, to be able to come out on top. Firebacks will be the really only competitive advantage they have.
have now in this last team fight. Even then, they get a good lasso over to the right side, but there is just zero damage to also dish out inside some form Getting of controllers. It's an ultra kill for Utko, and the man will get his rampage as well. Nothing they can do as an E-Blade fires on pass, but Ukyo shrugs it off. A rampage and a well-deserved victory for the boys on IG Vitality. Yeah, just a, another game where the lanes go really, really well for them, but this time around they didn't have the pressure of uh, having to connect with dual. Advantage and CS as well over the TA. So this is one thing in particular with this matchup as the game goes on. Like you, you will be able to have a great way to deal with the refraction. And you have, I think, importantly supports to play with the, the Ember as well. Because we know TA always falls back to the jungle, bottom lane, Haro. We'll give up first blood. There's the action starting to come into play. A beautiful blast off from, from Ran Food Dow. If you get kills like this, then I will never could treat. So I just doesn't feel like he has enough by himself to get A in it. So once you for them, there will be no rebuttal. At least Ponyo is going to be able to TP mid though, so he gets the refill out of the bottle. Oh, on for almost solo kill on TZY. Thank you, Ran Food Dow. Oh! More KKs Ooh, than Trubs, the... though. Oh, not the Trubs. More KK. He's got the boys, and they are responding to the call. Aeon even wants to show up as well just to help the fellow brother out. It might even be able to get Butterfly Effect depending on Ranfu Dao's spell casting. A little bit too late to catch up to the Ember, but it looks like they will get Ponyo, though, nonetheless. Although the good old fashioned way, but the right clicks. Yeah. That was a uh, good rotation there by TD. If Eren didn't come in and uh, enchant off the Flame Guard from Butterfly Effect, they definitely would have killed uh, Small KK there again. So he lives. They make a rotation. They get themselves some um, trade kills. Now, Bash. Hara. Oh, no. <laughs> Needs another. Well, uh, this is a long chase down, my friend. He's got Fairy Fire and one charges. Even eats a tango as well. Yeah, brother, you are going on quite the mission if you're going to get the kill. Oh, come on, Duke with the tangos. Are you gonna go? Okay, oh. they got him. I mean, he bought some time. Bought a lot of time. Yeah. He wanted to reset anyways, so not the worst there from Eren. Being a thorn in the side, but now they're making a big rotation here with Butterfly Effect. They need to be rewarded for this rotation, though, because it's four heroes on IG Vitality. Looks like they will, so first permanent essence of the game. Butterfly Effect's gonna be able to Zip on over back to the mid lane as well. So they're having a lot of issues with killing Aenid right now because of how tanky he is. Double bracer, drums, full wand. Don't have to have damage to kill him. Well, he's going to get the kill and probably the double bounty rune as well. He has gone very deep though. So how do you craft the way? to get out of this predicament that you are currently in. And it looks like... Him. No way. No, okay. I was, man, if Onslaught was back up, who knows what the hell would have happened, but all right, Painted yeah. goes down. That is a kill. That's a big kill for TZY, considering... For it. They haven't lost all too much. They haven't lost a T1 tower, and they may even win a fight bottom as well. Oh, DD even on TA. Oh, this is it. Right. Is it going to be enough though? Steps into the trees. They're going to be able to turn to Aenid, who's making a lot of space. So they get the kill? No way. Aenid lives to tell the tale. And now Butterfly Effect is in a lot of danger. <laughs> yeah. Um, things are going to start to look dire. You can see some of the issues they have with their lockdown though. Um, it is very hard for them to constantly get these kills. This is a big doom though. Where's everybody else? Where is everyone else indeed? Looks like they're going to be there on die to be able to secure the kill, but I just so for team dissolution. Didn't have the support team by to protect small KK. That is, oh, that's a great blast off, but what do you get with them? Maybe now I ain't it. They're going in one by one though, Fluke. I don't uh, know if this is the recipe for success because now a and it is going to feed his own life away. Second death in a row for the dino. We were singing praises of him early on, but in fact, I think it's three deaths in a row. He is now bottom. Um, with, with the way that these two teams are playing against each other right now, 
Um, but Team Disillusion, they're still in the driver's seat. They've got their, their cause uh, getting to the scary point of the game. And now with Deso available for Small KK, uh, there's a lot of damage. He gets the kill, but at what That's cost, not my it. friend? This is just a ponyo. My guy doesn't care about dying when his butterfly effect Ember just runs down two heroes. Yeah, I mean, that's a trade that Ponyo will take every day of the week. Oh. May maybe Ranfu? Not bad. Good jump. Replicate as well. Somehow Butterfly Effect is able to get out of danger, and it should close the distance onto TZY. But they would have loved the Ember Spirit, unfortunately, not to be, though, with some quick fingers and quick feet from him as well to get out of danger. So, nonetheless, a hard carry like the Morphling. So. Even though the TD are kind of uh, throwing away a bit of their lead when it comes to their other cores, the Morphling still is in a very, very good spot. I think Aenid really wants to try and build towards his BKB. Fortunately, now Eren is in trouble. He's hard to kill, but still are able to get the kill. So I think TD just kind of need to pump the brakes a little bit, get themselves BKB here onto their Primal Beast, and then they can resume their shenanigans. But speaking of the Dino, might find him first. And he will. Nice dark pack timing. Stolen onslaught looks goddamn weird. And now they're going to try and TP some of the members in to protect him. But it's really just ran through Dao, which also just feeds himself to the wolves as well. As once again, you just go one by one. You don't have all the members. Small KK is trying to maybe dispatch of Doom once he's uh, connecting down to bottom. But he doesn't have the damage by himself. So... Look, when do we get to the stage where you start to five men on, or at least take five men fights on on raiding? Because currently they are not doing that. I, th I think I think it has to be BKB for for a &E is is their first opportunity. But the question is like, what do they lose before that time? Like because a &E's died so many times in these last fights, it's very hard for them to get into a good spot. Milo's on fair. He turned into Whoa. a slug. Oh. Uh -oh. I mean, that and small KK, KK mid too. Oh, and God. he's going on across the map. Butterfly effect with that chain on over and get Eren as well. This is a wild game three. Back and Ooh. forth. A lot of kills. 32. And Won't be taken. It's the fight they want to take. TZY is TP'd into this. They have AoE Doom ready. And they're going to try and look to use it. Instant jump in. They'll get the first life. They've still got a decent duration of Doom as well off the back of the respawn. Are they going to be able to blow him up? Everyone needs to turn their attention to Lonfair. Forsyth gets him out of danger. He's getting kited back to the mines. Going to be cautious as oh, no. it up and the trap has been sprung. That is what they were waiting for, but still Urkyo, he's ready to go. A lot of essence has been stolen, but once you get the replicate out, there is no escape. Morphling holds him down, turns to the Rubik, and we are finally seeing the true power of a TA and Morph in conjunction together. Yeah, it took a tricky position for IG Vitality. What is the call? It feels like Morph, sorry, it feels like Slark needs a lot of items. As you might not have the chance to get them because they're diving deep inside the base, eh, unit. An aggressive jump. TZY is going to try and go for the Doom. It's a pretty good retreat out with some of the four staffs. He's finally been able to lock onto the Dino. So he'll be able to get the kill onto A in it. But still, the rebuttal is there. Techies as well will go down. It's a good start for IG Vitality, but Small KK is still going to be in. Trying to potentially see what he's able to do to turn the fight back around. They've got the initial silence on a butterfly effect. Is the damage going to be there, though? It's like it is not. Don't go up the high ground. We saw what happened last time. <laughs> Jungle is not so yours anymore. Poke on the dino, but... Please get rid of some of the essence. Oh, 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 oh. There's a lot of mines. Ukiho. Ukiho. Dude, four of them just... It's down to a quarter of health. They'll get the techies, oh, they're all but... Dead. What the hell? All the mines. What just <laughs> happened, dude? <laughs> The explosive man has done it again. That is his home. <laughs> and no one will be able to come and knock it down. Uh, <laughs> I can just imagine Sir Action just like screaming and just being like, to the minefield, to the minefield. That's uh, game. Yeah, that's game over. Slark has a buyback. They, they just lose the, off the back of Tekken. The Bomba Man. <laughs> Dude. 
Why there's nothing, there's literally do? nothing they can do. Ah. There's, there's not. They got relegated off that fight. Oh, oh. my god, <laughs> are you serious? That's gonna be devastating. Again, they DC before GG on throne. No, oh. and they're all out as well. They are all out. Not even a GG. Even Radiant are out of this game as well. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. <laughs>